we begin with the biggest news of this week concerning the Belfry Pirates and Philip Haywood and his angry red entered this year's Class 2A battle with E-Town as the only team of all eight teams up there in Louisville playing for a state championship and they haven't even won a state championship yet. Eastern Kentucky football has been uh, the staple in Class 2A over the last decade. Rockcastle County has made several trips, but today was history for Belfry. In 2003, the Belfry Pirates were making their first state championship appearance since 1986. Players, coaches, and fans were all ready to finally bring a championship home to Pond Creek. Belfry would get going in the second period. On the option, Paul Howard to his cousin Doug Howard. He races around the left side and he is in for the 23-yard touchdown run. The extra point no good. Belfry behind 7-6. to six. Belfry's next possession. It's the option to the left one more time. David Jones goes over the pylon for the touchdown. Back and forth they would go early in the second half. Early fourth quarter, E-Town grabbed the lead back from the Pirates, 27-20, but Belfry wasn't done. Five minutes to go. Chris Todd rolls to the right, but he is sacked from behind by Doug Howard. Josh Cullough picks up the football. Belfry in business at the eight-yard line. On the very next play, David Jones takes the pitch around the right corner, gets into the end zone. It is 27-26 E-Town, and the Pond Creek Nation is going bonkers. Now the all-important extra point on the way from Ronnie Edwards, and he puts it straight through the middle. To overtime, they went. Belfry so close to their first-ever state title. E-Town's first possession in overtime. Chris Todd gets picked off in the end zone by Paul Howard. Pirates turn to find the end zone. And David Jones, the most important touchdown in the history of Belfry football, and Belfry wins the state championship, the final 33-27 in overtime. A little bit of speculation. Philip Haywood, he's been there so long, Brian. If any coach was deserving of a state championship, he was. Does he ride off into the sunset now, do you think, or just stick it out because he loves football? Well, that's a good, uh, that's a very good question. You know, we, a lot of people have wondered, is this Philip Haywood's last season of coaching? Why not go out with the state championship? He's been coaching since 1972. Belfry won its first state title, and people wondered if Coach Haywood was done coaching. Yeah, right. Since that 2003 title, Coach Haywood and the Pirates have brought home three more state championships, including back-to-back -back in 03 04 and 2013-2014, and a current trip to Bowling Green waiting to be decided on Sunday.